Hello everyone and welcome back to Closets Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at Element. This real-time strategy game promises simple and quick strategy gameplay for people who like strategy games but don't have the time to spend hours playing them in simple yet charming graphics. Whether it can deliver on this promise is the question we will try to answer today. Element is available on Steam for 11 euros and 99 cents your regional equivalent. I will be honest with you guys, real-time strategy games aren't really my thing, and honestly never were. Yes, I've played some of the classics when I was younger, like some of the Command and Conquer games and Age of Empires, but apart from Command and Conquer Tiberium Sun, honestly, I don't think I've ever really enjoyed one. But Element promises something I always missed in RTS game. Quick gameplay. So let's see how well it does. Okay, then let's begin as we do always by talking about the gameplay. And the game compared to other real-time strategy games is incredibly simple. There are only two resources in the game and only one of them really has to be managed. This is energy. And energy is used to build everything. The other resource is whatever you're mining on the planet and is essentially the end goal of each scenario. Well, apart from destroying the enemy. So if there's no real resource management in the traditional sense, what exactly do you do in Element? Well, you try to mine the resource of the planet that you need to win build defenses to protect your mines and attack structures to eventually destroy your enemy. You also build resource buildings which can collect random resource drops that happen in each scenario, giving you the boost in energy you might need to build the next offensive structure to finally defeat your enemy. The only two other things you can build are missiles and drones. And as you might expect, missiles are used to destroy stuff and drones are used to repair stuff. Once you understand all that you can build, it comes to a matter of how well you can. Meaning, what will your strategy be? Would you be aggressive and just try to bully your enemy into submission so you can mine calmly? Or will you will build intricate bases around each of your mines, collecting constantly under attack, but never in any real danger? Both of these, and many more, are valid strategy and it's only up to you which one you will choose. Well, to a degree. Because each of the planets, which serve as the scenarios here, have different properties and you will need to adjust your strategy to the particular planet you are on. On some planets, a rush strategy might be the best solution, while on the other one, you might find yourself in a position where you need to slowly overcome the enemy because you started in an unfavorable position. The key to winning is using land properly, as land is divided into these little triangles and each building has a specific range. So building them in a way that you can actually both defend and attack is what will make you win. But how exactly does it feel to play Element? Actually, it's surprisingly fun. It's simple at its core, but allows for complexity to emerge as you go further into the game and harder and harder scenarios are put before you and you have to actually start thinking about your decisions rather than just rushing your enemy. But on the other hand, even the harder scenarios will rarely take more than 20 minutes to finish under one condition, if you play at a regular game speed. You see, if you want to play a bit more strategically, you can just slow down the pace of the game. But if you want to, you can also speed it up, though that's probably a good idea only for very experienced strategy players. But this combination of simple yet complex and fast gameplay is something I rarely see in strategy games, and Element executes this combination rather well. Moving on to the second feature that makes Element stand out are its graphics. And this is what I think will be the key to success for Element. The graphics are simple, pretty much just polygon graphics on a simple 3D sphere, but it manages to use colors and shading so very well. Awesome job, this is how game creates its own style and then owns it perfectly. 
In terms of the story, there really isn't that much to talk about. You're in a solar system where the planet you lived on got wrecked, so you're trying to leave for a new solar system. But before you do, you must mine the necessary resources from each of the other planets. But you're not the only one doing that. Music is probably the weakest point of element. Sadly, because I think this game just begs for a deep, chilling soundtrack. Supplies. But on the other hand, the lack of any real music means that you get to hear all the sounds of the game, which might help you to play better. And in the end, you can just play your own music. Performance-wise, this game runs like butter. But that is to be expected. It isn't taxing or hardware in any sense of the word. But there is one thing I think should be mentioned. This game is insanely small. Seriously. The whole game folder has less than 100 megabytes. That's amazing and I give my prompts to the devs for actually using the minimum amount of space needed. So in conclusion, Element is an interesting strategy game. As I said, I'm not the biggest fan of real-time strategy games myself, but then the fact that I actually enjoyed my time with Element should tell you all you need to hear. If you're a strategy lover and you're looking for something to play when you just got like 20 minutes of free time, this is perfect for you. And if you aren't a big fan of RTS games, well, I'd give it a try, but I'd wait for a small sale. Once it goes under $10, but I would still recommend it. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the review and if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up here on YouTube and subscribing to the channel. And comment if you had something you would like to add. See you guys later with more gaming content.